cut to sass. I don't want to do the intro. <laughs> Thanks. What's uh, up, everybody? Hey, guys. It's the Yak with Nick and Sass. We're real happy you're here. Uh, we hope to uh, guide you through your drive or maybe through your through your late lunch at work. Uh, we're, we're honored to have uh, you loyal listeners, especially on Spotify Wrapped Day. Spotify Wrapped Day. It's a big day. It's a, it's a real clutter on the timeline. Oh, yeah. Uh, you get yours, or are you an Apple Music boy? I'm a Spotify guy. Spotify I got mine. Guy? You post it? No. Oh. No, I'm embarrassed of some of the bands. It shouldn't have been. Ain't you no gotta way. post it. Dude, Owen sent us his. Yeah. He's the might be the most depressed man alive. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because <laughs> like I don't, it was new this year. They would just give you a like a random jumble of three words. Yeah. I got pumpkin spice angst as mine. I don't even know what mine were. But yeah. Owen's I mean, he needs his was like he's gotta give up his shoelaces or something. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I forget. Um, Owen got heartache, escapism, sorrow. <laughs> that's bad. Yeah, that's not good. That is really bad. Um, I was on the same train from Boston uh, as Kyle, but we were on different train cars, and he has a bad habit of uh, not getting off. Not getting off. He didn't get off in, on our Boston stop. My, I got I got vulnerable cottage core amped. Yeah, that makes sense for you. What You're, is cottage core? Cottage core is like big cozy core kind of guy. Oh, yeah, very interesting. There's a lot of cores nowadays. There are, stemming from what was the first core? Hard. I'd assume so. Yeah, soft. Soft. Well, that's p- porn. <laughs> music wise, is there there's so, is there soft core music? Oh yeah, that's probably cottage core. It must be metal core, and then of course crab core. Of attack course. attack um all kinds of cores but yeah i don't know maybe i should call kyle um he's probably heading on down to dc right now yeah he probably is he would wake up in he, that would be some shit he'd pull um i uh i was boston it was really nice yeah, it was i fun. really enjoyed it. it was a whirlwind of a trip uh but the guys that were there and girl uh for the dozen live show it was like right after a uh, Kirk Minahan live show, so a lot of Minna fans, and they were they were rowdy. Yeah, yeah, they were vocal, they were rowdy, but it was a it was a good time. Uh, Jeff D. Lowe just has it down to a science. Yeah. So was it? What did Kirk do? You guys were House of Blues, right? We were at House of Blues. So Kirk did a show, and then Kirk did a right show after. down the street at Cheeky Monkey. Oh, oh, I know Cheeky Monkey. Now there was a sign on the door at Cheeky Monkey that uh, Chris Clemmer is not allowed on the premises. Oh wow. Yeah, and was I don't Clemmer know if that there? was. No, no. Well, he wasn't in that bar. There was the sign-up. That's for sure. He definitely wasn't a cheeky monkey. Yeah. But he... Uh, He's a little bit of a cheeky monkey himself. Clemmer? Yeah. I don't think he has much cheek to no. him. No. Skinny monkey. He's a skinny monkey. Yeah. Um, What else do we have going on? What, what What's up with you? How was uh, I was holding down the fort yesterday. Uh, Like here? Yeah. For the yak? Yeah. Uh, it was fine. It was just me, Che, Kate, and Brandon. Is that a yakagami? Yeah, I think so. Is this a yakagami? It's gotta be. Uh, yeah, probably. I don't know where it, where is everybody? Roan's in fucking... Roan's in some sort of tropical paradise. Uh, yeah, I was talking to him yesterday. He said it's like there's nothing to do. Oh, dude, just, I feel bad for him. Except for just posting up. But he's he said he said it's really nice, like he's just hanging out up at the beach. Posting up's way better when you're in essentially the Garden of Eden. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He said he's a lot, it's a lot of, it's a lot of repetition. Yeah? Yeah. Well, how long has he been there? think since saturday if i had to guess i'm not a long vacation no, guy. neither am I. I think vacation max five days yeah yeah i i'm ready to get home i'm a long weekend guy me too jay uh yeah same uh i don't like to be in some place for too long that's not my home but uh, a week away or so is fine yeah like five days is a, is a good do you guys have anyone coming up i'm going to mexico i think in march uh no no trips coming up uh Outside of work, I'll be in the beautiful city of New Brunswick this weekend. Oh my God! They're, what's their cuisine? What's the cuisine of New Brunswick? What are the must hits? I don't know. Spots? TJ would know. TJ, can you pull? Oh yeah, he's not here. Oh shit! Oh my God! They they have the, uh, are you hungry? Like the the grease trucks they're called. It's just like a lot of like leftover shit. So like you know like garbage plate from like upstate. It's yeah, like that's a Rochester that, but, thing. But like in a wrap, I think. Okay. Ooh. I was just in Rochester. I got a garbage plate. Is it good? Oh, no, God, no. Heavens, no. And yeah, I think that's yeah. the intent. I think that's the point. I'm Everyone like, was describing it to me, and I was like, this sounds terrible. Yeah, it's like everything they have in the freezer lumped into styrofoam. Like yeah. A, t- a container. What's up, B? B. Or K. 
Oh, B is he's got he earned the B back. Oh, back on the B. No, I didn't. No. What do you mean I earned the B back? I thought you took a swig. A swig? I thought you took a swig to calm the nerves. Dude, that you know what that leads to? What? Drowning in liquor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just take one swig. Uh, we're talking Spotify Wrapped. What was your number one? This is the only time of the year when I feel normal. It's all just like Drake and Kygo See, and yeah. Taylor Swift. What was your number one, Nick? My number one was shocking to me. It was a day to remember. I thought it was going to be the story so far. But I they don't know. Too. Either of those people? Are they still ripping music? It, they, they, yeah. Yeah. They are? The story so far, not not as much. They have a uh, lead singer as a side project. Hmm. Between those two bands, how many accusations or cases? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I don't think a day I don't to remember. Think it, I think they're flawless. They're not uh, flawless. They're, they're uh, Scott. They're 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 they had a member leave a while ago, but I think it was a drug issue. Um, uh, story so far, maybe one. Maybe hey, that's good. But usually, like uh, the bands I listen to, they will cycle through members because they. Uh, I don't know what it is about that uh, genre of music. They they love teens. I think it's probably just the people that listen to them or the girls that like them. Um. Yeah, it's the fan base and the fact that that's who's trying to fuck them. Yeah, yeah, probably, and it's like just filled with angst. And you a Spotify team. guy? No excuse in my book. Talking about fucking teens. Uh, we're talking about, we're, fucking talking about we're talking about punk music, pop punk music. So yeah, pretty much. So uh, synonymous. I am a Spotify guy. I don't have you pegged as a music guy, really. I'm no, not, not at all. Like, like well, minute wise, I bet you had low minutes. Uh, Tommy Walker ruined my Spotify this year. What my, was it? <laughs> a lot of kids, Bob. Le- League of Legends or something is my. Was listening to League song. of Legends sound like a soundtrack. Uh, yeah, it's dedication. I I meant to take a picture of my um my number one artist because it's 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 a little boy. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it, it's it's troubling. That's that's not great. Yeah. Billy Gilman. No, and I don't know how to pull it back. Oh yeah, okay. I'll just uh, I'll let y'all know when it comes up. But it's uh, my songs are all video game themes. I Just never listen. There's a ton of people that listen to video Just game soundtracks. I don't give a shit screen. about. I turn off the music when I'm playing like a video. It's game. an Instagram story, Brandon. Yeah, you can just tap it, Brandon. Tap the right side. Tap what right side? The, what what other screen. right side the could screen. there be? Oh, I see. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. I used to uh, in college. I had a. I only had a CD player in my Mazda six. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't have a tape player, so you couldn't put in like the auxiliary thing there. Um, and I had a burnt CD that was just the so- the sound when you got on your bike in Pokemon. <laughs> Rise by League of Legends was my number one song. Can we play it? Probably I, not. I, probably not. Definitely not. The League of Legends has bloodhounds. Yeah. He likes that game? I guess. I don't That's know. A really, like, isn't that a really complicated game? It's, it's, it's a MOBA, and it's, like, uh, it's, it's dominated songs. by uh, uh, other like, cultures. Asian. Riding Tommy dirty by NUZB. No. Riding di- what? Uh, riding dirty by NUZB or something like that. Oh wow. NUZB. I don't know what that was. The other one's like riding dirty. I, um. <laughs> so uh, I. Uh, That's Chameleon Air. Oh yeah, yeah it is. That's my number one artist. Oh, that is a tiny boy. <laughs> that's just a boy. That's yeah, a yeah, hilarious that's a boy. That's um, tiny gay boy too. Name? Go back. Hit the left side for back. Okay. All right. That makes sense. I want to look him up on the screen. I want to. I want to show. What's his name? Uh, his name is CG Five. CG Five. Will you post it? Will you post it on Twitter? I'd, I'd rather not. With just no context. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my so wait. my top five artists were CG Five, Brad Paisley, Kanye West, and Mariah Carey, and Outkast. You're a Brad Paisley guy. Huge Brad Paisley guy. Nice guy. Yeah, uh, he's from West Virginia. It's close. He's from that weird part where you guys are from, right? He's from Similar. Glendale. Yeah. Um. He just collabed with Huey Mac on a on yeah. a banger. Check that out. I like Huey a lot. Wait, I don't know if that's a boy or like an old man. Might be my daughter listening to this stuff too. I don't know who that what that is. Those look, you know, a young nut. That's what it looks like. I don't know, young nut. Young nut has some. Oh bangers. yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitter guy. It's nice to get screenshots of people listening to the podcast, and we've been lumped into a lot. Son of a boy dad. Yeah, names. yeah, yeah. But uh, somebody sent one. Son of a boy dad was number one. Anus was their last place at three. But we got beat out by brown noises to sleep to. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so next year, um, we're, next year we're fucking. What the fuck is that. a brown noise? I, I think br- it's like the same thing as white noise. You're right, but brown noise is like makes you shit. It's like a frequency that will make you shit your pants. Really? That's what it originally is. But Some I think new shit. Dude. I actually, I actually usually listen to brown noise instead of white noise. 
Do you guys? Last night I was on the air conditioning sound though, because I finally took my AC out yesterday. Oh, nice. And I was going to sleep, and it was like way too quiet, so I had to throw on air conditioning sounds. Wow. Yeah. A white a uh, uh, noise machine, a white noise machine would be cool. Yeah. Oh, we got TJ back. All right. So CG Five is a singer songwriter who creates original songs, remixes, and covers based on video games. Okay. Oh, that's oh. all Tommy does play video games. So that makes sense. I was Tommy uh, playing the new Warzone. No, I haven't got that yet. For well, I, I just, free. I just not that Tommy's watching, so I bought a PS Five the other yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna give him two for Christmas, so so he'll he'll have all that stuff soon. Nice. I just started playing it. I hope like you're out to dinner with the family and like a fan comes up and he's like, Tommy, you got a PS Five for Christmas? Yeah. Well, the 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 ten year old found it already. Really? The, well, he had to have been searching. I, wa- I walked into the house the other day and and he he just says, Dad, you got to find better hiding places. And Where was the hiding spot? Don't tell me closet. It was a closet. Jesus, Brandon. Jesus. But it was my closet. I have. An, yeah, that's the most obvious yeah, spot. Yeah, that's the first place someone would look. I have a different room. I have a room for my clothes, and I had my own closet, and I put it in there, and, and then my 10 year old actually hit it better. I, uh, wow. speaking of video games, I couldn't sleep on the train, and the, the dorks in the booth probably know about this, but there was this internet flash game. It was like an RPG. Uh, it was called Kanye Quest 3030. Do you guys remember that? And it turns out it was like a big cult recruitment video game. There was like a secret part of the video game where you could enter your address and somebody would come to you and try to recruit you to this ascensionist cult. What is an ascensionist cult? Uh, They believe when you die, you're reincarnated as a higher level and like you work your way up as a higher power individual. But it was this game that people were playing, downloading and playing that was just for cult recruitment. Brandon, who would be the, say there were tiers, who would be the next tier? Yeah, that's a good question. College football coach. Yeah. No, college football. Yeah. Or, yeah. No. It would be like probably Clay Travis. Uh, you think Clay Travis is next year for me? I think he's, you think that's the be, direct yeah. tier above Brandon? Well, well, you think more? Makes a lot of sense. I think I think one tier. Well, I think he's probably Depending two on or three how, What type of margins like. of tiers we're doing. Uh, he's, he's in the million follow club, is he not? What hap- Yes. That's I, a tier. It's, You're a tier. That's what a happens tier. Uh, in an ascensionist cult when you live your life as the top, as the top person and you die, do you go back to the bottom? I think you go on to, to like a different plane of existence. I wasn't able to uh, to quite finish reading about it because I put on my turtle and tried to close my eyes a little bit. You know that movie I was trashing last week? Uh, no, you Mother and Son? Oh, yeah. It's a vibe. I'm into it now. Wait, <laughs> I re- did you, had to watch did it. dive back in? I just, yeah, I just, I just skip, you just skip to any random scene, and it, it's very vibey. What happened to the the movies city should of God? be vibey. They no, it's be. not a good film plot wise, but oh, so you just like to exist in it? I like to just watch it, yeah. And that, well, we we were talking about hiding. I always want hide and seek. Why? But it was a loss because I was just in a like a Tupperware container for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a guy that'll go in a Tupperware, yeah. like yeah, the costume just, bin, just stuffed in a, a box. For an hour, I hated hide and come seek. out and be like. I loved it, but I never. I was always really bad. I was more anxious being the seeker because I thought they would scare me. I thought I. I always thought everyone would just like leave. Nothing makes you feel more skillful than being a dad who plays hide and seek with his young kids because young kids fucking suck at hide and seek. And you but can n- yeah, but nine year olds are incredible. Yeah, they get to a level where six year olds suck, but six year olds stink. You're nine, you're good. Yeah, I would say that. But you're nine. I would. I'm pretty sure me and my nine year old don't play hide and seek anymore. But it, it's a, it's a dad cheat code. An adult hide and seek league would be awesome. You should just come home tonight and be like, let's play hide and seek. Yeah, See I bet you they'd be down. Let's do that. Nine year olds still want to play. Their dads just don't ask. Yeah, maybe it's a you problem, Brandon. All right. Well, I do have I, I do have four. So I used to play hide and seek in my high school library with a few people. Very what? very fun. You if you're hide- in a library, how many hiding spots are there? There's just different a aisles. Ton. Yeah, yeah, and tables and stuff like that, and different like nooks and crannies. But it's uh. Can it's, I ask you it, a question? Sure. Where were you before you started playing the hide and seek? Were you like uh, in front of the school in the parking lot, say, "Let's go to the library and play hide and seek," or were you just no? Ha- you would like if you had uh, we had like off periods. I don't know why the fuck they gave us off periods, but like if you had an off period, like generally you go to the cafeteria, or the library. But if you already ate breakfast or stuff like that, you just go to the library and just kind of sit and I just call that study hall for us and maybe just go to the gym and just sit. Sure, yeah. and like do work or whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, get bored of shit doing that. So um, I liked playing. Hide and seek because it was more like tag because like you find people and you gotta like actually get them and you can't run and people are enforcing the rules and you can't be super how, loud so very fun. How old were you? Eighteen. Wow. It's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever have the high school wide game Assassins? Yes. yes. Yeah. It got 
like wow. outlawed by the police. Yeah, the someone got and actually a someone like ended up like suing someone else because they shot someone. Was you guys use like water guns? Yeah, yeah. we use water guns. Water guns. And, and it, like, oh, what a game! Yeah, yeah. Like he like broke time. into their house and the person got like hurt. There was somebody that was like hiding in the house's closet to get their kill and yeah, yeah. It's it's dangerous. You don't know what it is, Brandon? No, I never. We did not have that. Everybody, you had, you and a partner were assigned people that you had to kill with water guns around the whole city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like multiple schools, sometimes multiple classes, like hundreds of kids. Oh, we just did seniors, I think. Oh, we did like every high school in the area. Oh, really? Yeah. And oh, we were wow. getting up at like five and like going to the pe- like going into their bushes. Yeah. Sounds very dangerous and stupid. Yeah, but like in a small town, well, you're in a small town. Like it's it's you know everybody. There's no crime. We don't lock our doors. Oh. No. no. Never. Never. Walk in and out. Brandon, you live in New Jersey. I do. How far away are you from New Brunswick? Oh, oh like an hour. Oh, really? I live in North Jersey. I live um, in the northeast corner of Jersey. I was born there. Oh, yeah. Really? I always forget that. What? Oh, yeah, TJ. Oh, yeah, TJ. Yeah, I was born there. Um, what was the hospital? Sacred. Robert Johnson? No, keep going, keep going. The other one? It's, yeah, that. Yep, yep. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it's amazing how it clicks when you hear the name. TJ, is there fun stuff to do there, or should I like should I stay over, or should I come home, or College what? Town, right? Uh, you're so you're in like the downtown part, Stress Factory. There's yeah. a lot of nice restaurants and bars and stuff down there. I'm probably gonna. After. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. Well, I have one show tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna come back for the yak. You should go to a college party. Yeah, you should. No. He can't. He's not a frat. Why? He could. Why? I'm not fratted out, bro. You have to be invited and listed. There is no. This such is thing little, as Sas- little, little Sasquatch. Little Sasquatch. No. Couldn't get into a party. Not unless. That'd, that'd be funny I'm if you couldn't. You, yeah. <laughs> they, you, you could bring 50 <laughs> girls with you. They're not going to let you in if you're not on a list. We can get uh, ass into one of these. Yeah, I would let them in. I would bring no girls. What, what would happen if you take all of them? You get the party. Do you get punished if you let yeah. a bunch of girls and sass in? They just it you wouldn't get, happen. You just would be turned away. Unless you're on a physical list, but is there like is that a rule is there or authoritative is it, figures it there? So yeah, they have like door people for the for like, us. but there's kids, right? Uh, it's it's just a pledge. Yeah, Sassy's getting in. So if a I'll pledge be awesome is like if it was Sassy, a, if you're, hey, if you're Sass. a frat person listening, put Sass on the list. No, I don't want to go at all. Yeah, put him on the list. Actually, that's I need you to go list. just to get in so you can prove that it's done. No, but that I don't like that. Like that's like actually not something so I would you enjoy. You frat dudes wouldn't let fifty girls and Sass into your party. Just couldn't, thrifty, couldn't thrifty do it. Tens too, because you know I'm only rolling with tens. Right, but the chances are, if they land one of those girls, it used to be sasses, and there's no following up. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> oh man! God damn it! You render the pussy useless. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sass bangs all the tens he hangs out with. All fi- all fifty of them. Oh yeah. Checks them out. Yeah. That's just that's just fucking ritual. <laughs> <laughs> it's like brushing your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Something I haven't been able to do today. I uh, left my bag in KB's room. Oh shit! Did really? Y'all, come, y'all came straight here. Came straight here. Yeah, I need yeah. to go do that. I uh, I wasn't able. To, we got there at. Uh, what time did we get there yesterday? Noon thirty. Yeah. And uh. I wasn't able to check into my room until 11.30 p.m. God damn. That's the worst. Yeah. yeah. At least you and, like, at and least Kyle you walked in. He got his room instantly. I, yeah. yeah. I just They could tell that I wanted it. I wasn't asking, like, can you do this for me? I was like, yeah, I need I need needed this. It. Yeah. The tone of my voice. Yeah, like this I checked in before you. You had a weak tone to your voice? Oh, yeah. He was he was like, "Oh, do you think it'll be possible? Like is there any chance I could get I was I was I was, I was inconveniencing the hotel by staying there. And I came in and I was <laughs> like, "Yes, hey, I, 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 I got a room now a and I and I said it like I was in a rush to get there." You got to go in and start banging your fists on the table. I was like, "No, no, it's okay. I'll just sit in the lobby." I did. I'll just cozy up in one of these <laughs> leather chairs. Yeah. These uncomfortable chairs. They spit on me and they're like, "No, you're going to stand." I was like, "I'm sorry, you're right." <laughs> I could be treated like shit, and I'll be crawling back. Oh, yeah. I'll thank you. Especially at, like, a hotel. And then I'll just text my boys in the group chat, be like, I'm so fucking pissed off, dude. I'm about to flip. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Not at all. No. I don't think I'm able to flip. I'm about to lose my fucking shit <laughs> <laughs> by texting your friends. That would be the extent of me losing my shit. Yeah. I'm so pissed right now. 
Actually, I, I was at a hotel when I was in Providence, and I stayed at the Hilton. And I think I've told you guys about this, but I got into my room, and it and it reeked. Like, from down the hallway, I could smell it. This, like, extremely small, like, s- smelly uh, lemon odor. Like cleaning? Like cleaning, but, yeah. like, overwhelming. Like, you could smell it from down the hall. It wasn't pleasant? No, not at all. Like, I had a headache as soon as I went in. And then I, I went downstairs, and I was like... <laughs> I don't know a what headache I'm, from the, the yeah. scent of citrus. I was like, yeah, I don't know uh, really like what to how to go about this, but my room has this like overwhelming lemon fragrance smell, and they were like, yeah, my that room is too clean. Got she injured was, by a fragrance. Yeah, she was wiping as I said that she was wiping down the table with uh, the front desk with a lemon scented. Yeah, they probably wipe. spilled the bottle. Yeah, in. dude, it was bad. It smelled so strong. I uh. Went. We were in. And they stay, didn't give me a new room. We were staying in a Howard Johnson motel, and like, where were we? Like outside of Orlando, really, just a sketchy hotel. Yeah. There was like a. Oh yeah, it was like Ocala area. Yeah, there was a guy like passed out in front of my door, and I walk into my room, and it just has this smell of like rotted fruit, and so I go down to the front desk. I'm like, my room smells like, like it, it like fucking like a fruit is like rotted in there, and the person came up. They're like, I'll see. They got like their like Lysol, and he looks on his bed. He's like, "Oh, rotten fruit!" And there was just like a bag of like a bunch of rotten fruit. Yeah, took it, but That's the smell funny. lingered. Oh my! Oh, yeah. yeah, I had a banana in my college backpack for like three months, and it smelled terrible. I had no idea why. No, that had been. It was, I, it, was I, a rotten, it was a rotten banana. I had an Easter egg in my in my baseball bat bag for two weeks one summer. And it was bad. I, I had a uh, we and when I was in college, all of a sudden our dorm started smelling like really bad, like a dead animal or something. And then I realized that I had a like something from the from the dining hall. I had like a broccoli and like a to go. Oh box, yeah, and it fucking stunk. I went on a date with this girl in high school, and her grandparents, like she was like living with her grandparents, and they were beet farmers, and they gave me these beets, and I was using my dad's car because I was trying to impress the girl. And I just left the beats in the car, and it, like, rolled under the seat. I never knew anything about I forgot about them. And then my dad was going crazy trying to find this smell, just rotted beets. <laughs> That's a, they're actually our beet farmers? Yeah. And I knew there was, but... They had, like, a big garden in the back, I should say, and they just grew beets, though. Worst food. Beets? Yeah, I don't love beets. Worst food. I, I don't know how you get worse than beets. And don't 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 say oh I love beets. No, you don't. You might like them. You might oh, tolerate, I tolerate them. them. You don't love them. I flipped the fuck out on my mom because she said her Me favorite too. food oh, was like salad. Yeah. This was like, and I was like, no, it's not. Get off your fucking pedestal. <laughs> no, like, okay, you can like salad, but it's nobody's favorite food. No, it would have to be a specific salad, and you like the ingredients that right. come with the lettuce. Right. And she said, no, it's my favorite food, and I. It's the, yeah. Stormed out. I, I like beets very much. Yep. Like a, like a beet salad yep. is very good. And that's an, almost an auto order if I see it. Like Would you rather have place. a beet or a slice of pizza? Time out. <sighs> beet salad is an auto order for you. Beet if, 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 <laughs> if, if it's a, a if it's beet at, salad is if, an auto order. If, if it's at like a very good restaurant, beet salad like, done. Auto if, order. Again, auto if, order. If it's at like a very nice restaurant and they do it right, making beets yourself is an absolute nightmare, and I will never. So do you're it. out to dinner with your wife for an anniversary. You're obviously going to. That'll, go be, to, that'll uh, be like an appetite. That won't be the main. You're going yeah. to a nice restaurant, obviously. Yes. Beet salads on the menu. Done. If that's like the appetizer, like small salad, yeah, absolutely. I'd rather get a splinter in my thumb than eat a beet salad. I think. Yeah, it's, it's kind of it, it, it is, good. Like the with like my some dick. Goat satisfaction of plucking it out would beat the, any taste that a beet could bring. Yeah, yeah. Satisfaction of plucking a splinter out is mm. is up there. Oh, sometimes I, I, I look it, forward to like those yeah. ingrown beard hairs because oh, oh. they come out so easy. They're thick. And then it just it hurts, but then when it comes out, and it's just the relief. I would touch my yeah. entire deck and make a day out of pulling that splinter. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't keep your hands yeah. off your deck as a kid, dude. Yeah, dude. I got I got super into the other night. I couldn't sleep, and I got really into uh, R slash popping. I believe. Oh yeah, I can't. And do it's popping. just no, but it's me. not. It's not just popping. It's 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 popping. It's pulling. It's it's tweezers. Slow mo of an ingrown hair will be okay. For the me. ingrown. I, I saw one when the guy pulled out like a. It had to have been like a full head of hair under his skin. Want, Relief of that hair. has to be incredible. Yeah, I like the blackheads getting removed on the nose. Yeah, with the latul. I, I I drool like a. I saw a splinter I, one, and the guy had like a tiny little splinter in his foot, and he's videotaping it, 
and he pulls it out like a little piece and then there's like another piece and he goes to pull it out and it's like this big Jesus. and he's like whoa <laughs> <laughs> he had like no idea yeah. it was that big it was like two inches of just wood in his foot I don't like I would rather it be done to me like being popped than seeing a pop I don't I'm not I don't I don't ever get any pops you don't get pops I don't really have much to pop Maybe one day, kid. Yeah, maybe one day. An auto order. A beet, beet salad, salad is an auto salad. order. That's lettuce and beets. No, it, it, I think it's not. I don't even know lettuce. what's. A, well, I don't know what's an auto oh. order for me. Maybe tater tots. Beets, I don't know. What, I don't have anything. I don't think that's an auto order. At a Chinese restaurant, I, I, I'm a guy that, if I find a cuisine like, of of a country, right. like uh, Chinese, I'll get the same thing at every restaurant. You find one dish. Yes. And that's your experience with that cuisine. I think that's me at most restaurants. I find one dish, I get the same thing every time I go to that restaurant. I never get anything but general so. I don't really go. I don't. I don't think I've like gone out to a restaurant in New York and then like gone back many times. Oh, I do. I like never go back. Like I go to like a bar multiple times, but I never like go. To, I don't really go out to dinner often. I, I, I have a routine. Times. I have a routine. I go to fish market twice a week. Yeah, you do. Yeah, fish market's cool. Have you taken everybody to fish market? I try to. I'm, I have a good relationship with the workers there now. They're great guys, and I'm finally to the point. I never knew this happened. I walk into the bar, and they slide a Bud Light down the bar. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's I love that. Feeling. Yeah. it's. I didn't know you could ever get that. That's like a step below getting a, a menu item named after you. Yeah. Having the having them know what you want when you come in is so f- – it rules. My dad had a menu uh, – not a menu item. It was a, It was actually a rung below. Uh, later Gator? Later, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The crepe. I never, we never even talked about this, but I remember seeing it one day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. My, my dad ordered this crepe at this restaurant called Later Gator. Almost got it. But he would modify it, and so they added on the menu Will's Way to the crepe. So it's, he didn't have his own oh, menu item, it was. but it's framed in his downstairs bathroom, the menu. Is that restaurant still there? Yeah. Yeah. I I get the moon, moon over my hammy. Okay. Yeah. They have a, a, a crepe called the Deja Vu, but it's on the menu twice, and it freaks you out. <laughs> the, I... The best day of my best moment of my life was when I got sent uh, center wheeling where Later Gator is on GeoGuessr world map. No way, you got your home directly tab. in center wheeling. Holy shit! The, but then it was like, what, what can I do with this? Nothing. Did you what? hesitate at all? Were you like, there's no way? Oh no, I knew, I knew there, I knew it was happening, but it was it took my breath away. Damn. There is a a restaurant in uh. I'll, in Pennsylvania, somewhere close to my wife's uh, family, and they have the salad is called the Bloody Beet Pan Drippings Yogurt, which is like a white oh, sauce, and then Jesus pistachio Christ. praline. Oh, that probably just looks like a fucking on you, Santa. On why are you why are you pushing beet on us so hard? Because yeah, you guys are pushing back against beets and saying it sucks. Beets are really we didn't. Good. No, we didn't. We said no one no one loves it, and then you said I love beets. I, the craziest thing you said was it's an auto order. That one absolutely is an auto order. It's not on that many places. It's not like that. Can you describe that one more time? Yeah, sure. that sounded foul. Uh, it's called the Bloody Beet Pan Drippings. How much you want bloody in the name of your the food you're about to bloody. eat? It's like it's a kind of runny. It's because of the pan drippings. The pan dripping because it's what a, are they, the they pan, cu- What's the pan from? They let they like they cut up the beets and they put it uh, then like cook them. So it's beet juice essentially. Uh, pan times. drippings, yogurt, pistachio, <laughs> praline. Very very good. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> what did you say? What? I said it's beet juice, and Brandon said don't say that three times. <laughs> That was really clever. <laughs> Jill, oh, yeah. Oh, that was really good. Well, uh, the Beats are probably the best fictional band. Mm. Other Mount Rushmore. Killer Tofu. Killer Tofu. I need more allowance. Parentheses. Yoda yeah. Leahy. Who? Wow. Doug? No. I think too, he's too, too old. Too, yeah, too old. And too, old for too old for Doug? I'm too yeah. old for Doug, yeah. My my Nickelodeon was uh, you can't do that on television and the first iteration of Double Dare and stuff. It was Nickelodeon was like more game show based than. Cartoon. Well, no, it was it was it, it had cartoons, but it only showed cartoons that were it like showed Looney Tunes and it showed cartoons from from back in the day. Okay, no originals. It, it didn't have any originals until like the early nineties. Am I making this up or did Mark Summers recently die? I think you're making that up because I would have known Mark Summers died. Brandon would have tweeted, yeah. and Mincy would have made it about him. <laughs> <laughs> I love the summers down in Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> they were hot. <laughs> uh, you, somebody needs to check that. I, I'd like Mincy to should trend every time somebody dies. Yeah. What was the be- Bill Russell? 
he was from his hometown, I think, or the worst is when someone dies and people tweet out and they're like, never been a fan at all, but really sad about what happened. That's not even worse for when somebody dies. Just when somebody like agrees with you on Twitter and says, I hate this guy, but, or I never been a fan of this guy, but you don't have to say that part. Yeah. Rare, rare Brandon Walker W. Yes. (laughs) I saw one of the, you got one of those recently. Yeah. Did they say, I think they said ultra rare. They did say, oh, you saw it too? Oh, yeah, we got the same algo. <laughs> <laughs> they did say ultra rare, ultra which is... Ultra rare. Well, that, yeah. Was the thumbs up he's dead or the thumbs up he's alive? He's alive. Guess how old he is, though. I'm going to say he's uh, go 71. I'm going to go 71. I think he was born in 51. 51. Yeah, never yeah, I'm 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 in in early 70s. I'm trying to think. Divided by three to plus three. Yeah, so I, 71. Mark is alive and kicking. I don't like that kicking is a... Is a this shows how is, how alive you are. Kicking.com. Oh, it's dead or kicking. Oh, wow. That's a good website. It's got to be tough to get thrown on that website. <laughs> yeah. Dead. dead. What happened to that guy? He's kicking. He's still kicking. <laughs> we should get one of us on there. Yeah? Yeah. If you had a death rumor floating around, would you wait like a couple minutes before you're like, I'm good? 100%, yeah. You got to see which way the wind blows. Yeah. I see how they react. I think if it's real, well, like what if, if it what if it's like positive, you just don't ever come back. Yeah, it's just like it's a bunch of you good die. riddances. Yeah. If they're posting the crab video, dancing crab, I was just gonna say, <laughs> yeah. Walker's dead. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You you you're dead. You find a new career. You just go ahead and kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. Right, oh my god, what is it? Brandon Walker's dead party or Brett? I'm just statistically. R.I.P. Bozo trending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Do you guys have any auto orders? I don't think I have a single auto order. My only auto order is when I go to a place uh, and I'm getting a burger. Or I'm getting something that requires fries. I do check if they have tater tots. I auto order the tater tots before the fries. That's that's my only auto. I have an auto purchase whenever I go to an old timey candy store. If they have flying saucers, they kind of taste like styrofoam. They have those little beads on the inside. That sounds good. Yeah, they're it's phenomenal. I love the. I, I'm a mouthfeel guy. I always taste. buy two Andes mints after my cracker. Andes candies. Order. Yeah, um, no, they're Andes, not Andes. Andes candies. Oh, they're Andes. Like the mountains. Correct. Andes candies. I'll, I'll say I think an auto an auto purchase for me is every time I go to Whole Foods, I end up getting lost in the in like the vitamin section. And being and just buying something that I don't need at all, and being like, "This is going to make me really healthy." My ginkgo came in today. I'm going to be sharp as a tack. Yeah, yeah. I almost bought that Alpha Brain shit yesterday at Whole Foods, but it was ninety dollars. And it's got to work for one bottle. And it has to work. I don't know. I doubt it. What if it does? It might. Yeah, I might as well try. It (laughs) It was ninety dollars. I was. I've spent. I've spent more for less. Yeah. I accidentally won a bid when I, I was in a Dave and Buster's in Anchorage, and uh, it was while Kyle was swimming and maybe in the most beautiful untouched glacial pool of all time. I think yeah, only eleven people ever have swam in that. Yeah, uh, the helicopter could only fit two, um, so I went to Dave and Buster's, <laughs> and I signed up for an auction for the. Uh, it was like, it was a Pokemon thing that I didn't really want, and I won, and they emailed me, and so I haven't gotten it yet, but. That was a bummer of an email. How much did it cost you? It was like four fifty. You want to buy something stupid real quick? Holy shit! Yeah. Let's buy something stupid. I don't have four hundred and fifty dollars on Pokemon card money. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of money. Nick, I don't. I don't. Ha- I don't have rent money. Did you see uh, that linebacker Blake Martinez? Yeah. Who retired off of a Pokemon and sale. It, yeah, he sold it for like six forty, maybe six hundred forty k. Yeah. But his his contract was he must have just not liked football. I think he he did, like just got caught by the Giants and he was he like was on the Raiders. Yeah, so he was like kind of hanging on. But like league minimum is probably a veteran minimum is probably like six hundred something. Yeah, that's nuts, dude. When I was in uh when I was in Rochester, they have that they have this like a, like a sports card store. Oh, cool. I went in and I was talking to the guy and he was saying like. Like, it's, like, not busy at all, but they're, like, thriving because all they need is, like, four regulars. Yeah. To come in and buy, like, a $25,000 box. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's a form of gambling. Yeah, oh, 100%. Um, can you write that off? I don't know. You write off 
po- like a Pokemon card loss. Writing off things is something that I always uh, nod my head to. As I really know, I never understood it either. I was no. hoping you would. I don't really yeah, know no. exactly how you go about doing it or why you go about doing it. There's some. I should be doing it more. I don't understand it. I know for stand up, people write off like everything. You can write, you write off like, a bad joke you told. Yeah, yeah, probably. You can write off like clothes and say it's like a costume that well, you we need can write. Yeah, we can write off the internet at our house. Like right? if you write your jokes probably. in a room of your house, it could be you could write off as an office. Yeah, yeah. You could write off like all your Ubers, all your transportation. I, that always feels so like slimy, but uh, everybody's doing it. Yeah, and you're only you're only screwing over the man. Yeah, who fuck gives the a man? Fuck the man. Um. Is f- forging signatures has to be pretty easy. So has easy. to be so easy. So easy. Mm-hmm. My I signature think the is only just people a who get caught are the ones who get greedy and just keep doing it. Yeah, but like now there's like so many ways to authenticate. But even that, like the the graded cards you buy now have a QR code and you can learn about like that card everywhere it's been. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, back to your thing, Sass. You went to a card store. I, if it's a specialty store for something, I'm so much more inclined to buy it than seeing it on the shelf of like a, a big box store or something. Yes. Even if it's the same item. Yeah. I would never buy anything from that store, though. Why? Everything was like over $1,000. Really? Yeah. And half the shit like wasn't even for sale. It was just in like these like glass cases. And I'm not patient enough for an investment like that to pay off. Mook said his his uh, older brother does that like full time. Yeah, his, his older brother's like, like a card shit ton shows. of money. Yeah, his well, older brother has like a boxing card that was like printed in nineteen fucking twenty two yeah. or something. I uh, I tweeted this out last night, but it really happened. I was laying down to go to bed, and Tommy just appears above the couch where I'm laying, and uh, he said, uh, "I want to talk to you about investing." <laughs> oh hell yeah! Oh, yes. And then I I said, uh, uh, I actually had. TJ, I, I, just to prove it was real, I took a video of him talking about investing. He thinks Bitcoin, probably. Yeah, okay. Uh, but he, he doesn't really. Jason, I don't give a fuck what you think about my investing. You don't have to shake your head. He did shake his head. You shook, you're shaking your head figures. Obviously, Bitcoin's not a great investment. He's 12 years old, Jason. All right, if I want to buy him uh, one one-thousandth of a Bitcoin, I'll buy him one one-thousandth of a Bitcoin. Yeah, it'd be a treat. It'd be a treat. to buy him a full one? You should do a video. Uh, I had a Bitcoin until last year. I got I, I got it out of FTX just in time. You should do a video Christmas morning of Tommy just like opening up an empty envelope and just be like, I got you half a Bitcoin. I invested for you. I invested for you, Tommy. Invested your money. You yes. think you would understand that like a full Bitcoin is like. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it, Where's the other half? <laughs> and then he said, uh, and he said, maybe just some stocks or something. I don't know. And uh, so I got to figure out how, how we're going to invest Tommy's money. Or how he's going to get Tommy's money. Although, Stephen Chay did tell me to put Tommy Walker on Cameo, and it's probably a pretty good idea. That's a really, really good idea. Yeah. And you could pocket all the money. I only have to advertise it. Just say on, on the Yak, like, a couple of days, Tommy's on Cameo and should be able to. Should be able to. Want a good amount of cash? Yeah. College fund? Mm-hmm. Well, I doubt yeah. he's going to college, but. Yeah. Me and uh, I was n- I wanted to collect sports cards as a kid, yeah. uh, but my dad, we, we would go to sports card shops and hobby shops everywhere, but he only let me. We would each search for one player, and so I would just collect one of a player. My dad was a Ken Griffey Jr. guy, and I did Vince Carter. Two. So I have a bunch of good, Vince Carter two, cards. Good picks, yeah. yeah. My generation so wait, so ruined cards. It came yeah. back. It came well, back. So you're like the autograph seekers, the adults who sent. They, they get the whatever signed. How how could you ever authentic? authenticate that i guess you have the video of it happening i what i don't understand. actually uh you but when you sell when they sell these on ebay or wherever like what is the proof that it's real yeah no you're right and ebay has now like a verification system but i don't know how that works why would you want to buy an autograph that you didn't personally get getting the autograph is the thrill uh, i don't want something somebody signed i would rather have a photo with the person than yeah. an autograph the authentication works that if it's sold through like an auction site, so it goes to the proper like, oh, this site got this from the team or whatever, the player, they then make a certificate being like, this was real, some people sign it. Uh, and then if you get it, there are other ways to like, if you get a jersey or whatever after a game, you can have like the photo that, with them and that works. And there's a lot of things that people do with like game worn stuff where they'll like photo match, like, oh, you have this guy had like a tear in this part of his jersey and they can get these images. I don't actually know how this works, but I am on the 
tangential outside of one of these communities. I've started doing middleman authentication recently too, where it, like sneakers, especially you send it to eBay, they make sure they're real, they put a tag on it, then they send it to the person that bought it. Have y'all seen Stephen Chase's wow. signature? I'd imagine no, it's huge. What could it? Oh, it's troubling. It's it's what is it? <coughs> it's, it's not good. There's a whole thing going on right now with Bob Dylan with uh, some like he like how old is he? Like 79 81 oh, 84 shit. he's uh he like he came out with a new book oh that's not it <laughs> that is not it that's, oh, that's no that's that's, that's my that's my new one. Oh, it's your new one you can yeah. see his okay, old one so on i shamed back. you i shamed you out of your old one yes you and nick and a few other people yeah yeah it's bad and this, so now i'm being shamed for this one this one's a lot better you what were is one of the one? first that's people print. to say that I, it's better than what he had that's pr- i shifted mine i used to do nick tyranny now i just do nicky I've only ever Let's had to right sign now. things huh? at the right, yeah, at the. Yeah. I've only had to sign things ever at the dozen. That's that's where I that, that's yeah. I changed it yesterday. Yeah, I signed a girl's cup. Yeah, and I mine just says Lil Sass. Protective cup. <laughs> Diva cup. <laughs> yours says Lil Sass. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's your name. It's my yeah. You just have to write KB. Do yeah. your uh, yeah. agents ever want Holy you to change autograph. your name, Sass? No. No? I want to. Oh. But I'm not going to. Ever. Uh, they, yeah. I you got you bullied should... out of using your actual name. <laughs> you should just drop the quatch. I think Lil Sass is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I got. That's what I say now. Uh, I don't know, though. Lil Sass? Sass. Like, Sass. Drop the little, too. The idea of, like, being sassy is kind of, like... Gay? Cunty. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, okay. Lil Sass. Ah, man. It's tough. I like quatch. Just go that by sound, quatch. That sounds like a pussy. Yeah, it does sounds like an actual. That's what you quatch. call it. It's like it's like a cooter. Right. Yeah. No, I, I, I got to drop fucking it. Quatch. <laughs> it's, y'all spinning that fucking wheel yet? Oh, uh, not yet. I uh, won't. Well, you roll back that. that shit yet? Oh yeah, hell, we can talk about rowback. You're talking about the company with the best quarter zips and polos and hoodies in the world, and they got the new joggers too. Uh, the best way to describe Roback is the best fit, the best feel. We can't stop wearing Roback, and when it comes to quality, these guys just do not miss. They have the best performance polos, hoodies, and quarter zips, and you can rock Roback head to toe. Uh, they've got the joggers here. They are functional, versatile, and comfortable. These joggers check off every box. There are a lot of joggers out there, but these might just be the very, very best. I have, I think several people in here have them. They are very, very comfortable, and uh, they look good as well. Perfect for a nice fall day or a football Sunday. You'll never want to take these off. We've been rocking them everywhere, so trust us. Use the code YAK on Roback.com for a generous 20% off your first purchase through the end of the week. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. That's 20% off all polos, quarter zips, and hoodies with code YAK. Roback joggers are here. It's time to hop on board, TJ. I'm wearing them right now. Ten more seconds. For ten more seconds, I've got to tell you how great Roback is. Yeah. They have the joggers, the polos, the quarter zips. And they're so comfortable and wonderful. And Stephen Che is wearing them right now, and he's making me look at his at his dick. Yeah, he is. Yeah, they he look is. great in the Robacks. They really do. It really does. There we go. That's Roback. See you, Sass. Brandon, you want to try my turtle? It's my travel pillow. It what? What a thing! Everybody needs yeah, to purchase because everyone knows the neck pillows don't. Neck work. pillows don't work. Neck pillows don't work. This is the turtle. No vowels. T R T L. This is the one. Put it here. It's like a kickstand for your neck, and then you wrap this around and Velcro it. It's a delight. Oh. oh, yeah. Try it. Yeah, it works. You want me to put it on you? Yeah. It's like a cowboy collar. Okay. Kick stand. Wrap it. Okay. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, you just got to lean. It's the best. Lean to- oh, yeah. See? It's pretty comfy, isn't it? But- I feel like it's being jammed into my side. Well, adjust it then. I couldn't. You put it on your. I put it on myself like an adult. Did Nick? Is it? Did you invent this? No. Oh, you know what, Nick? It's great. Nick, that's better. Yeah, it's really yeah. nice. Okay. That is the neck pillow you get. All right. That once you had it too low. Okay. Yeah. Below the jaw, and when I pull it up, now I'm just resting and reclining. Yeah. But do, is it worth the trade-off of looking like this? No. So I usually only do it when I'm. Uh, not sh- I, not sharing a seat or like a r- overnight train. Did you do it yesterday? Is that no. something you actually consciously think about how I look to the person sitting? Yeah, I want to be as hot as possible on mm. public transit. 
You never know. I do this thing where I, I take my stopwatch out in time when people get up, like on the train or the plane. They stand well on the train. They stand up, yeah, and get, start getting their stuff out. Today we were we were in Queens, not Long Island City, like the middle of Queens. People started doing it, standing up, waiting with their with their luggage to, to get I off. Timed it Penn twelve State? minutes. Jesus, twelve minutes. Then it was fifty percent of the car. Twelve the, minutes standing I, up. It was like a domino effect. I understand on planes I, when people do it because it feels like yeah. yeah I, got I don't. On trains, though. No, I don't get it. Tr- planes at all. Your brain is broken. Trains have multiple you sit exits. Sit down until. Why would you rather stand than trains, sit? The, exit, the, the the traffic flows out so fast on a train. Why do you need to be first? No, you're right. But like plane, you're not getting out. No, I don't really understand rep. on a plane, but it makes more sense on a plane than a train to me because there no. are multiple exits. It's so easy to get out of a train. You don't have to be first. On the way up to Boston, there was a group of French people, and they didn't sit. They like. They would sit when somebody walked by, but they stood like ninety percent of the way. That shit pisses me off so much for some reason. Where yeah, they sit, they're just standing in the aisle the yeah. whole time on the Amtrak. Yeah, it's insane. I'm, it's insane. Fander? I know. I think I think I want to try to forge an autograph and sell it. Yeah, we could who start we, small, maybe. Who are we gonna forge? Maybe like yeah. Ruben drones on a yardstick. Try to sell it for three dollars and then go up from there. I don't. But somebody. Mm-hmm. I want something somebody would actually want to would actually buy and not just buy it because it's on the yak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we need to pick somebody out and then put it on eBay. And drones is a step too low. I think we need Ron to- Dane on a McDonald's cup. Not bad. That isn't bad. Not bad at all. But who wants a McDonald's cup? But it's the point of just the autograph. I don't know. I think what it's on has to be pertinent to the person. I don't know. Like, ah, yeah. What's the weirdest autograph you got? Uh, I have Shaquille O'Neal on a five dollar bill. That's not weird. Uh, uh, I have the kid, five dollar bill. I have it the is. kid from. Um, uh, I feel like that's pretty common. Jerry Maguire. Jonathan Lipnicki. Yeah, he but he was like eleven. He was at uh, the Ohio Tournament of Champions. What do you have it on? Just a just a sheet of paper. It was a weird tournament because the the trophy I got was a football helmet yeah. for the wrestling tournament. And then I have Jonathan Lipnicki's autograph. Yeah, Bill dances. That might be weird. <laughs> bill dancing. Bill Ted, dance. Bill Day. I don't know him. He's a professional bass fisherman. My favorite have, fisherman is uh, Skeet Reese. I've been following. I try, I've chose a fisherman to follow. Skeet, it's been fun. This is compared to Bill Dance or Hank Parker. I mean, come on. Uh, I mean, that's, you gotta be agree fucking, to disagree. You're fucking kidding me with this Skeet Reese bullshit. I have Omar Vizquel on a box of Skittles. Ooh. Ooh. Why did you get a box of Skittles? had to have been in a movie theater. That's more interesting. I was. Uh, I I went to a travel camp in middle school, so we went to like amusement parks and stuff. We went to Six Flags America, which is in Maryland, on day one of our trip, and an Orioles game on day two. And he was visiting the Orioles, and that's all I had left to get autographed. I was. I, if you told me that you recognized Omar Vizquel in Six Flags, that no, would have been something. I didn't recognize him on the field. Just saw any player and was like, "You want to sign these this box of Skittles?" Huh. And they were like, "I guess." Yeah, I guess it's almost cooler to have it on something that's not as I t- I'm doing a 180. Yeah, I'm just now obsessed with Ruben Drones. The fact that he brought it up, and I'm just thinking about the career. Ruben Drones. I think he had over a thousand yards rushing for the Cleveland Browns on only two or three touchdowns, which is huh. insane. What? It's like the opposite of Legarrette Blunt. Why do you? Okay. Why is that? A, why? <laughs> why do you know that? I don't know if that's right. <laughs> yeah, you, you do. do know it's right. Let me pull up his fucking <laughs> wiki. Dude, when I say a random fact like that on my own accord, like I initiate it, it's because I you googled I, it I, extensively I on the train. It. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know how you keep for getting the, away with. I was that. waiting for like three weeks for someone to bring up Ruben yeah, Drones Ruben? organically. But you yeah. brought up Ruben Drones. I know it doesn't work the same when I bring it up. I was waiting for someone to bring up Ruben Drones yeah. for like a month. I'm the same way. Uh, there was a rundown. Uh, the when Joe Judge was fired, or maybe he did something dumb, a few, few like a year, year and a half ago, and so I intentionally made coffee beforehand and uh, kind of put it in front of Brandon's face during the rundown, so you would call me out for drinking coffee so late in the day, so I could say, "Who are you to Joe Judge?" <laughs> Dude, well, I did the same thing. We both do this. <laughs> yeah, like I have, a, I have different so many combinations things. of things that I'm waiting for someone to. I am the least up. quick-witted human yeah, yeah. maybe on I earth. I just have a lot, a lot of things <laughs> just, in the chamber. Yeah, yeah dude. dude. What a cheat code. <laughs> yeah. Drones in 2005 uh, rushed for 1,232 yards, 
and two touchdowns. Wow. <laughs> That's so Kyle, that was a close brain guess, Brain on this guy. <laughs> you, you, are the, you have the weirdest brain. Wow. <laughs> I would love to see your notes on your phone. I, I like that. Watch yeah. I would sit next to him, and I watch you Google things every, like, five seconds. Yeah, the, I was really bad when it first started. But when it was on the Sirius, I could get away with it. You could do it while I the would show just, was happening. People thought I had the quickest brain. I would just <laughs> Google whatever we were talking about. <laughs> oh, fuck. What a what a peel back of the curtains, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think Wikipedia is the best website. Did you donate this year? I did. Nice. I, I, was really? I used to just scoff at it. I was like, fuck these Wikipedia. What, what do I have to donate? And I was like, yeah, this is the best website in the world. One of my favorite internet mm-hmm. turns of I all think time. It is. It, it is a lot more handy than you want it to be. I get lost in Wikipedias. There was this girl who was trying to go viral on Twitter for clowning a guy that edited the most Wikipedia pages of the year. I remember. And yeah, everybody's everyone turned, turned on. They're like, fuck no, this you. Guy this guy's a, a hero. He is a hero. He, he deserves a medal. Whoever's doing that, yeah, they deserve. Millions of dollars. How many? How, how the guy who edited the most? Let's how, how can many we pull that up, TJ? It was an absurd number. A million? That'd be no. Uh, Ten thousand? Probably higher. Jesus. And he's just doing that for fun? Yeah. Wikipedia is like fully edged up. Stephen, Stephen Pruitt. Pruitt. Five. Oh my God, Brandon! I owe you an apology. Five million edits made. One edit to one third of all English okay, Wikipedia that's articles. How wh- he has his own Wikipedia page. I'm happy that he has his own Wikipedia page. He deserves that, and that probably made his day. He's one of the top twenty five most important influencers on the internet. Yes, he's created more than thirty three thousand articles himself. Yes, he. I agree. That's nuts, and he does that all for free. That he should crazy. have a statue. Where's he from? He edits under the pseudonym Sentence. Sir Amantio de Nicolau. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's awesome. Oh, yeah. and somebody hilarious. tried to make fun of him. They were like, "Get a life." Hell no. 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 He would be an interesting podcast guest. This is like going on Jeopardy and win a lot of money or something. I want to talk to him now. He must be so I'm trying to think what we could do with the future of Wikipedia. I it doesn't really more, have video. I want to know more miscellaneous. I think it's kind of fun without what it's. I like the. Yeah, it would ruin list. what it is. The personal life, I want that to be deeper. I always skip to death. What? Oh, I thought. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I I look to see if there's a controversies tab. See, like you guys probably know that Larry King was married a bunch of times. Yeah. But when you stumble upon it organically, and I was like, eight times. Yeah. Imagine being the the seventh. Yeah. Or the eighth. Well, not the eighth. Yeah. But the if eighth like, is the one that gets the money. That's yeah, true. it's true. She, she wins. It's like, it's like the putting your hands on a baseball bat. Oh my God! It is. And she's the top one. He died. It's Larry this. King's <laughs> cock. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, someone tried to post him on a cringe page for, like, t- he was a, on an interview and he took a call from his son and just ignored the interviewer just to talk about his baseball game. And it w- it was the coolest thing ever. He's, like, so old he doesn't even... You've been, dead, in, you've been into cringe now. lately. Has he died? Who? Larry King? Larry King's, King's died, died, like, this died? year, I think. Okay. Yeah. Last, uh, year. last year, I think. He uh, was old, but not as old as I thought. Yeah, that's not... So I almost... I was like, it was too soon. He was old for a long time. He was, like he was old forever. He was professionally old. He's like, like Ian White. McKellen. Is Larry King the one that that had Seinfeld on and and said uh, like and said the show got canceled? Yeah. Yes. And then yeah. Seinfeld freaked out. Seinfeld yeah. freaked out. Seinfeld just kind of. Larry, can, he had, was yeah. he having some iffy allegations? Uh, I Not, no, I don't think no? so. He was think, farting on interns. Oh, okay. That's, that's funny. Like, that's that's his era. That ain't no iffy. He said know. he would like interns said he would drop a pen and be like, yo. Can you pick this up? And they would bend over. He would fart on them. Yeah, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. That's did, did they say That's like, easy, Larry. Is it complimentary or? No, like, they said it was stinky. Yeah, of course it was. <laughs> he was on a ton of HGH. <laughs> no, he was a firm, firm believer. He was like daily HGH. Larry King. Yeah. What? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Look at that. Did you guys watch the Liver King video? I didn't. I, didn't. I, I, I read. I read articles synopsizing. I watched the full hour. And what's the conclusion? Roids. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, a twist. it was pretty funny though. Like it, the, like despite all the steroid stuff, like the he basically was like trying to get this like guy to like train him and like make him just chiseled as fuck. He already like what enough is enough. Yeah, but this was like before he launched all of this his shit. He was already jacked though, and like the questions the guy sends him like a thousand questions and he has to fill out all the answers and like a lot of his answers are very funny. 
He's like a funny dude. Liver he, King is. Yeah. Has he released a statement? Oh yeah, has he been silent? I don't think so. I, I, I didn't I didn't look. You just gotta own it. I I would just be like, yeah, no shit. I was playing. Yeah. He's gonna go with I was playing a character. That's all you have to do, but people's pride gets the best of them, and then they end up looking like a, a fool. Apparently, like I didn't know he was making so much money. Oh yeah. He's made. He said he made a hundred million dollars in a year. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And that was like earlier he also on. Said he wasn't on steroids. Yeah. That's oh yeah. He made all the money. I don't think he made a hundred. No, he's probably lying. Yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Do you, how much money do you make? What, what do you do for a living? How much money do you make? <laughs> don't answer that. <laughs> S- stop asking people that. <laughs> stop doing the, the, the interviews. are just uh, The street inter- Everyone's doing them. It sucks. Yeah. It's so Everyone. bad. Are you happy at your job? They're so the same the, questions. The, the lower up, effort they are, the more viral up the they are. the question. Don't even buy a microphone. Uh, what, what do you do? All right. Uh, can you can you call them? Can you call them? It's That's so bad. bad. It's cap. The ones in Times Square that are like, they're like, would you fuck me for a million dollars? And the girl's like, uh, yeah, probably. And they're like. <laughs> and it just like oh, yeah. <laughs> it just we'll cannot bag you. <laughs> yeah. You can't walk through Washington yeah, yeah, Square yeah. Park without getting asked a it's question. It's so fucking lame. false because I used to do it a lot. You want you were trying to get yeah, asked? Yes, yes. It's I, I would so I would like lame. I would play out the entire script in my head. I had answers to every single popular question. I fantasized about. And the worst part is that they like people love those videos. Yeah, they go insane. Like it'll be like I'll watch like a video that I would just say I'd be like this is sucks, and then I'll look at the comments and they'll they'll be like. Dude, you've been fucking killing it lately. Yeah. With like a thousand laughing emojis. Beautiful. But like a lot of people's uh, man on the street, they don't need to be there. They are no. just a mic stand. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like ours. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to say, I was just thinking of the three that we've done yep. in the recent. Um, yeah, that's tough. I mean, it's definitely hard to do, I would imagine, to be good at it. It's hard to answer. In a good way. Yeah. Uh, mm. Shit. I'm ordering uh, Wingstop. Does anybody want Louisiana voodoo fries? I'm no, all set. You. Don't get Wingstop. Get Dan and John's. Dan and John's. What's Dan and John's? Wings? 3% battery is better not fuck me up. It's a good, good wing place. There's some leftover lunch and learn food upstairs. It's the last day we can use our uh, uh, Uber Eats. I used it in the first day. You used yeah, ninety dollars. Like, yeah, first instead night. of getting like a f- several meals, I'd get one really like expensive. What kind of foods? Meal. And I always get it for delivery, and it's never worth it. It's like I think it's like Cuban sandwiches, empanadas. You're going one, right now. One, You're going to go see what it is. He just told you what it was. Nick, I got something for you. What you got for me, Teej? Um, so when we were doing the World Cup thing, like yeah. a week ago or whatever that was, uh, you asked. Um, Connor Griffin to learn the Uruguayan national anthem. Yes, he did it. He what never, a beast! He never oh yeah, to sing it. So that's fucked up. We I got told that him whenever to you want it. He, he learned, learned it. the five in Spanish. Yeah, I would like to. I would oh, like is this that. five minutes of lyrics it's, or is there a lot of instrumental? It's the longest national anthem. Yes, now. Okay, we can. Connor, go ahead. We can close. Oh, oh, he's here. He, he's listening. I'm sure. Come Connor, in. come in. Oh hell yeah! How he has. It, he's been asking. He's like, I got it whenever Nick needs me to sing the Uruguayan National Anthem. Because he's I, a good I, memory guy. He's a freak. Yeah. yeah. He's a beast. Yes. If you haven't watched Dude, the Yak Basketball the, doc, the, watch the, it, please. The documentary was really good. Yeah. Oh, no. What? I ordered my Popeye, my Wingstop. The wrong address? No, I forgot to use the bar stool account. <laughs> it's paid. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Nah. Yeah, I did that a lot. <laughs> oh, Nicky. Did you go to the Bob Evans farm for spring break? I told you that yesterday. <laughs> my college spring break. <laughs> what did my you buddy, expect? Me and my buddy Jacob Dunn, but he went by Mike Watkins because he was trying to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> That's <laughs> and, uh, hilarious. But, <laughs> yeah. What could that possibly... Are you <laughs> um, but he... So me and Mike Watkins... Uh, it's in Batavia, Ohio. Yeah, he. Uh, oh, no, it's he he's, the, from, yeah. he's from Pomeroy, Ohio. So he was like, "Hey, I'm going to go home, but like, do you want to stop at the Bob Evans farm?" I was like, "Ah, oh, I was like it's spring break. I don't know." And he was like, "Come on, it'll be fun." And I regretted my decision because it was just me and him. Uh, 
me and him going to this farm and we had nothing planned but uh i regretted the trip three minutes into the drive <laughs> the first three minutes of a trip are the best <laughs> yeah I what know. a drop off after that. <laughs> yeah honor Connor, I, I was just calling you a beast if you heard that i didn't hear it uh, thank you though i appreciate yeah, it yeah. you're a beast thank you and uh this is the face and voice behind uh the yak documentary the, the basketball documentary if you could do one thing with your voice, like what's your goal? Like what would be your your dream? I would love to be like college football broadcaster, just talking about college football, talking about any sports. Talk to Brandon about it. Mm. Um, but we'll see. What what what, what would you what would your spin be on it? My spin? Yeah, like your personal spin to commentating. I don't know. I just think being in general very honest and not overreactionary. That's the one thing about sports. Not to go on a tangent or anything. Yeah. But like. People are just like, oh, this person sucks, or oh, they're the best thing in the world. Like, I, I'm kind of like a middle, the ground type of guy. Yeah, I don't like that either. Centrist sports commentator. I hate yeah. this. This guy sucks. Well, it's because of like the debate shows and everything. Right. Like, that. like it's just. I would like that. Yeah, it'd be a nice. Yeah. Nice, you know. What do you got there, Brandon? But what would your uh, catchphrase be? Oh, oh, I don't know about that. You have to develop that. Why'd you leave your plate? Over I think there? you have to go in with day to with day one. But I do want to. I tried to be a catchphrase guy when I first started here. I was Al B. Is there like a compilation of people with famous catchphrases using it for the first time? Oh my god, I'd love like that. To, I would, that'd be I a treat. There is. Oh, there is? I think so. I think I've seen it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Gus Johnson has a ton. If you just look up Gus Johnson compilations, like what's the best catchphrase? Oh, Whoa, Nelly in college football for Keith Jackson was one. That's Good true. One. Whoa, Nelly. That's a. That seems like something that was invented in the twenties. It probably will. I mean, he was very old. Okay. Um, but that was – it's the only context you would ever hear that was him saying it about college football. Yeah. You Do you want to take it away? Uh, yes. Hey, would you like the instrumental? No, the third – I think it's the first video that pops up. TJ had it the last time. We thought it was like the karaoke version. The first minute – Is silence. Is just music. Okay. Then the lyrics kick in. So like, let's do the instru – should we do the instrumental that doesn't have the words? Mm, I don't know, because it might be different. What are we doing? All right, so can we pull it up and minimize it? The first one. Yeah, was. can you close your eyes and we can I'll put the lyrics? Yeah, we can put the lyrics. <laughs> I'll close my eyes, <laughs> and then you guys can see if I'm doing it right. Now, this was like a week and a half ago that I learned. So you're, but you have a very good, you're good at memorization. If I just repeat it, yes. If I just try and memorize it over and over and over again. That's the best way to cheat, is memorizing stuff. Probably, yeah. This also might be really boring, by the way. <laughs> I don't care. How? On. How? I'm going to drag on. It's a five minutes on. I, yeah, no. So I don't I, care. Awkward part. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Actually, TJ, could you put it up on the screen? At least so I know yeah. when it's kicking off. Are the lyrics going to pop up? The lyrics will pop up, but I okay. won't be paying attention. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. Okay, yeah, we're approaching. We're approaching. Orientalis, the patria, la tumba. Libertad, o que glorio morir. Orientalis, the patria, la tumba. Libertad o que glorio morir Es el voto que la amna pronuncia Y que roigo sabremos cumplir Es el voto que la amna pronuncia Y que roigo sabremos cumplir Que sabremos cumplir Es el voto que la amna pronuncia Y que roigo sabremos cumplir Que sabremos cumplir. Sabremos cumplir. Sabremos cumplir. Sabremos cumplir. Keep going. Libertad, libertad, orientales. Este grito la patria sabo. Que a sus bravos, sin fieras, batallas, 
de entusiasmo sublime en flamo. What are you doing libertad, at Barstool Sports, Libertad orientales. Este grito la patria salvó. Que a sus bravos en fieras batallas de entusiasmo sublime en flamo. De este don sacrosanto la gloria merecimos tiranos temblad. You jealous, Kyle? Tiranos yeah, this is insane. Tiranos temblad. Libertad in the lid clamoremos y meriendo también libertad. Libertad in the league, clamoremos y meriendo también libertad. Y meriendo también libertad. También libertad. También libertad. And then we bring it home. We bring it home. Yeah. Orientales, la patria, la tumba. Libertad, oh, que gloria morir. Orientales, la patria, la tumba. Libertad, oh, que gloria morir. Es el voto que la amna pronuncia y que roigo sabremos cumplir. Es el voto que la amna pronuncia y que roigo sabremos cumplir. Que sabremos cumplir. Es el voto que la amna pronuncia y que roigo sabremos cumplir. Que sabremos cumplir. Sabre most complete. Sabre most complete. And then that's it. Wow, dude. Wow. So, Crody. That was supposed to be <laughs> me. That was uh, supposed to be part of my presentation. And I just, uh, I was like, okay, I'll just divvy this down to Connor. And, uh, I forgot to bring him in. <laughs> yeah. so you learned that like two weeks ago. I learned it two weeks ago. The off chance that you would have to do it. Yeah, and then I saw him afterwards, and he was like, oh, my God, I totally forgot to bring you in. <laughs> I, felt, I, I was like, oh, I'm a bad guy. That's all right, wow. though. So first of all, I tasked you with this impossible feat, and then I forgot. I totally blacked out right there, by the way. I have no idea what just happened. You, you nailed it, it perfectly. Word for, yeah, it was, it was you word learned, for You yeah. learned it for that moment, and you carried it for two weeks. You no, know, he's going to have that forever. Not knowing know. It'll be one of those things where, yeah, I just I have it in the back of my mind for the rest of my life. Sabre most complete. So what's stopping you from learning a language? I don't know. I, I tried doing Spanish. Like I took Spanish in high school and then a little bit in college. And I, I guess it just I wasn't that interested in it enough to learn it. I have to be really passionate about committing it to memory and everything like that. But I don't know. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. That was crazy. Maybe anything you want to task him with <laughs> for um, next show? Yeah, what? I might put you on world capitals. Oh. Um, I'd like to have somebody to lean on against KB. Every one? Every one of them. Okay. Now, I want to <laughs> I want to I want to do something together. We both learn it. Okay. Like a power team. What no, if you guys uh, both memorize something and had popcorn it back and forth? What do you want to memorize? Because I, mine, I can only memori me like memorize words, so I can't do okay. pictures or visuals. Do pie? No. No, that's a tough one. I don't know. Numbers, no. I'll have to think about it. I'll tell you. I am trying to learn all the area codes for GeoGuessr. That would be a big help. What is that would it, be way? unbelievable. What is GeoGuessr? You were, you were talking about that earlier. I don't know what that it's is. It's a game. It, you know what, like Google Maps Street View? Yeah. It just puts you somewhere random and you have to figure out where you are. So right now I'm doing something really boring. It's I'm doing the U.S. map, and I'm trying to get um, a perfect score in, with under um, four-minute rounds. You have to nail the exact precise location within 100 yards. Okay. Well, what's the closest you've been? I've gotten a perfect score with five-minute rounds. Do you look around, you look around a lot, or do you just take the first shot? You have to you have to move around and figure out your precise street block the block that you're on or like the, the exact area in the whole entire United States. Yes, that's insane. So you you mean if you get like a if you like a major city, it's obviously a lot easier. But you got to know the exact street. 
Yeah, but it it gets way easier the more you do it. I guess. So you like you just go. Yeah, it, it it's it's hard and it's not fun and it's not cool and it's not entertaining. But <laughs> that's it. So well, why? Have. What? Why do you do it? I want to get the perfect score so bad. Yeah, but then once you get it, you're going to be a little upset. Yeah, what then? Yeah, I will be upset. Yeah. So I don't think you really want it. <sighs> yeah. It's a quandary. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's spin the wheel. Spin yeah. The wheel. Spin that bitch. You are now uh, if, if on the lands, wheel. Yep. If you, yeah. You are uh, the first manscaped. Oh, yeah. Brandon? Oh, you did, I did the last <clears throat> It's never too late to play holiday music, and it's never too early to start thinking about gifts. Do your little drummer boy a favor and use the lawnmower 4.0 to avoid another silent night in the bedroom. Santa cares about his sack, and so should you. Look nice when you get naughty for free. Shipping. <laughs> Oops. At 20% off by going to manscaped.com slash yak. 20% off free shipping, manscaped.com slash yak. The Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is the one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. It has everything needed to help you deck the halls from face to balls just in time for mistletoe season. Uh, get 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com slash yak. 20% off free shipping, manscaped.com slash yak. 29.30. What? The Platinum Package has the Lawnmower 4.0. As the weed whacker, it's got the two-in-one shampoo, conditioner, and uh, what's it infused with? Sea kelp. Sea kelp. Yep, that's right. Uh, the body wash, aloe infused hydration, the deodorant that's aluminum free, the crop preserver, which is the anti-chafing ball deodorant, yes. and you can get that and more. Manscaped.com/slash yak. All right, you got the wheel. Oh, sheep. They're a fascinating animal. You think so? Yeah. Uh, I'm a big goat guy now. What? Oh, Brody. Brody. Son of a bitch. I just ordered. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, let's do uh, tomorrow's lunch. Do it tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Do it tomorrow. You in tomorrow, Sass? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Lomo's on me. What? Tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, I know. I'm okay. going 30 minutes away. I was going to say we would have to sh- sh- order it to wherever you are. No, no, no. I'll be here. All right. Wait. Uh, should we spin who pays? Isn't Roan supposed to pay? Why? All right, Dan's going to be here. Dan's got to pay. Oh, is Dan here? To, oh, yeah, he'll pay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have to pay. but he, he, probably, he feels guilty for missing two shows. He does all that. He feels so bad. Yeah. yeah. I think we have to use that to our advantage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Cool. We will. All right, that is the yak. I Thank you. Do the rundown, so. All right. Are you doing it with me? Oh, damn. Yeah. Cody. I think I am. Yeah. All right. No, I'm not. You're supposed to be. No, no, no. I'm doing it Thursday. No, you're doing it. Uh, no, I'm doing it Wednesday. No, I'm not. Do- Today is Wednesday. I was only Who doing it today if I. I, I don't know. I might be me. I don't know. That's yeah. All right. Later.